All right, so what are we looking at? We are looking at the pile on sale root purchase. And uh, I, I pulled the uh, whatever, it was plastic off of the front of it and tried it with the original sub. And, eh, it was a little bit better than, than with the, the, the piece in place. I put the recoil sub in and uh, Put it all together, tried it, eh, port noise, it, it sounded, it, you couldn't barely run 100 watts to it before it sounded bad. So, all right, let's, uh, you know, the price was cheap enough, let's, let's take a stab at it. So what I did was take that lens and uh, drilled four holes and cut it with a jigsaw to put that trim plate back in place. So this just leaves this open. And uh, I had a piece of acrylic scrap and I took the two ports out of it and uh, cut this to fit and screwed it down to seal off the back end. So basically what you're doing is making a cheap sealed 10 inch subwoofer. It does have a decent speaker terminal and it does hold air and you know i don't know what uh what do you think that is i could figure it out i suppose but what are we looking at 12 where's my tape la 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 uh no that's probably internals probably about 10 by uh yeah maybe 10 by 11 um 10 by 11 let's see length width height uh yeah so 10 by 11 by 11 length width height yeah same thing so uh, you know, I'd have to go sit down the calculator and figure out what that, that's probably 0. 0.6, whatever, uh, sealed. And, you know, this is open, so it's just like it would be. Now, I debated, and, uh, you know, I, I decided against it. What if you sealed both sides? I don't think that's going to work. But, uh, anyway, there's your salvage of the pile uh super sale woot subwoofer box with sub that's still left over and i may put that back in there and try it so that's it